Welcome to South Florida. Paul Jones and Sherman Hamilton in Miami as the Raptors have a couple of days of practice Monday and Tuesday before heading to New Orleans for a game with the Pelicans on Wednesday. And Sherm, biggest thing right now is we talk about what derails you quicker than anything else, injuries. Yes. Raptors fighting a couple of injuries. Kyle Lowry about a week removed from surgery and Damari Carroll nursing a sore left ankle after the game against Milwaukee on Saturday night. Well, fortunately or unfortunately, the Raptors have been down this road before missing key guys and we've seen guys really develop under those situations if you're doing Casey you don't want to have some key guys out of the lineup but other guys have been able to step up and there's only a certain amount of time that you can go through that process before it catches up to those guys but there's no question that you got to be creative as a coaching staff you got to understand the combinations you want on the floor to be able to keep a defensive intensity and an offensive punch going but it's difficult Kyle Lowry does so much for this team Damari Carroll is probably in his healthiest stretch prior to this injury injury in a Raptor uniform so it's tough you got to fight through it injuries are part of the game and I'm sure Dwayne Casey is that next man up mentality all right let's hear from the two guys that we mentioned Kyle Lowry and Damari Carroll about their injuries prospects and recovery I just uh, basically got to rehab it get it stronger get it back to um, full extension uh, right now it's you know still some swelling in there still some inflammation in there but um, it's just a basic rehab you know get it stronger get the flexibility back and you know do as much as I can I tolerate as pain wise uh, still I have to see my doctor in another week um, I'm not even a week out from surgery so um, you know but the progress is you know it's optimistic so. go back to the doctor in New York yeah I'm going back to New York see my doctor and uh, then it's a two-week checkup and go from there uh, I still don't expect myself back anytime soon, but you know, I'm going to push myself to, to get yeah, back as soon as possible. I have wondered if you've even thought about when. I, mean, I, have a, I, have a, have a I have a target, not a target date, but I know what you know what I want, would like to do. Um, hopefully, we can get it done, and you'll go from there. But for me, it's about you know making sure I'm completely healthy. I don't want to have to you know not be be a full cow, you know, going into any type of situation. I want to be able to go and play and um, not have no you know hold back we're taking it day by day but it's better I can walk on it so uh, that's a positive uh, it seemed like did you think it was worse when yeah it yeah yeah then? but I said we went back and looked at it I think me going forward kind of and plus I get like three chase jobs before the game so uh, I think that kind of helped but yeah I th we definitely thought it was worse but it's, it's it turned out pretty good nah not yet so uh, I think we'll take it day by day and see what happens. Is it still swollen or? Of course it's going to be swollen, but at the same time, uh, I think I think I got a very high pain tolerance, so I, sh I should be good. So as we mentioned, the next three games for Toronto, New Orleans, Atlanta, and then Miami. Remember, for all your Raptors news and information, keep it locked on Raptors.com.